on, we're on. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. In day, I have no idea what of lockdown, but I have to say that it is feeling like forever. Did you say good morning, Charlie? Morning. <laughs> Guys, we've got three things we would like to share with you on GH Kids Connect this morning. Um, two of them are cardboard crafts. As you know, we've spoken about using up the cardboard that's around the house and that we're getting low on supplies. So this was really eking out something to do. Can you see? Let's have a look. I'll show you closer. So we did a little embroidery craft yesterday. You could use wool as well. Basically what we did is we cut out... Of course, no, not just yet. This one first. You've got to cut out any shape, punch some holes in it using a darning needle, a knitting needle, or a punch if you have one. If your kids are a little bit younger than, than Charlie, you could use wool, which uh, might be a little bit easier, or perhaps a lace. But we I happen to have some really nice embroidery cotton in our jar that we made a few weeks ago. So she um, spent some time literally just popping the needle through, threading it. Yeah, do it, please. And then choosing the different colors to come up with her pattern. Can let me just show you again. It's a really nice thing for a day like today. It's so miserable here in Cape Town. Really, really good for fine motor control and really good for a little bit of quiet time and self timing out. So I really recommend this. It turned out, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. You really enjoyed doing it, hey baby? And nice for them to choose their own colors. And as I said, you can use wool string, a lace, or we were lucky that we did have some embroidery cotton. The other little craft that I wanted to share with you kind of comes on the back of the fact that all we're doing at the moment is talking about masks and have you got your mask and what have you. And then I saw some really um, cute artworks out there of people drawing really elaborate masks. And then, uh, then I saw other things of people encouraging kids to um, express themselves through what other artists are doing. And that got me into thinking, oh, well, I, it didn't get me into thinking. I just saw some beautiful Picasso abstracts. So again, using our cardboard leftover from another project we did, we painted a base and then we cut out, can you see? We just cut out little shapes. And Charlie over here is going to glue some of the shapes on to make a mask of her own. Oh, which glue do you want to use? This one. Okay, you do one, I'll do one. So I'm gonna choose, and you know what? We don't have to make it exactly the, the same, you know, as if you would, where you would find an eye. We can make him a crazy guy. So what's quite nice about this is kids, kids often feel pressure around doing figurative stuff that it's not good enough or doesn't look how it does in their mind. And so with a mask, kind of the crazier the better, which is quite nice. Like the abstractness really, really works for them. Um, and anything goes. There is, there are no rules. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. It is what it is. Can I put a squiggly face, a squiggly mouth on him? Yeah. <laughs> what can I put on? Is this the mouth? Okay. Do you want to tell me where to put it? Is he a crazy guy? So can I put it anywhere? No. You show me where. Okay. Somebody has very clear ideas of where we're going to put. Yeah. This actually sticks much better, babes. Okay. And where do you want to put his nose? You're gonna stick down a bow. A bow. Oh, that was the bow tie. Then, when Charlie's finished doing that, we're gonna take the chopstick, the infamous chopstick that we use for our paper plate balloons um, on Friday, and we're gonna attach it with some masking tape, which I think I've left on the other table, but I'll show you the principle. Just so you know, this is really precious glue, babe. So just use a tiny bit. There you go. Good job. Okay, that's perfect. Well, let's save the rest because we need that for other projects. You're running very low on glue and I bought the last one I saw on the shelf. So, let's just put this one over. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Should we show everyone what you've done so far? Oh, use this one. Then we can check which one um, sticks better. So what I also did here is again, I unearthed my craft scissors. Um, we could actually use the craft punch if we wanted to. I tried the craft punch on here, didn't work very well. But if you have a punch, 
a normal paper punch, I just can't find out anywhere. It would work really, really nicely. Maria, I can see you watching. Hi! <laughs> and who else is watching? Sally and Paula. Hi, guys. Sally, I'm glad you're watching this because there's a, a recipe here that you told me about that we're going to show. Oh, that's a good one, Birdie. Okay. And squish that down so we can show everyone what you've made. So once Charlie's finished, finished making her abstract mask, okay, squish it down, Birdles. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. So we would leave this to dry. Do you want to show everyone what you made? Okay, we'll leave this to dry and we'll take our chopstick and we'll tape it to the back and we'll make one for Ava as well and you guys can make masks that we can stick on the wall. Now the last thing we've done today is a cake that two of my Sally friends have told me about. I've been wanting to make it for ages and ages and ages. It sounds like the easiest thing in the world. I didn't quite believe it. But please believe me, it is the easiest thing in the world. And it all revolves around a yogurt cup. Bring it in. Yeah, bring it in, bring it in. Oh wait, let's do the reveal. Okay, so, all, this is your measurement. And the only thing you need to do is take one tub of yogurt, two tubs of sugar, three tubs of self-raising flour, three eggs, a pinch of salt, a dash of vanilla, whip it up into a batter, and chuck it in the oven for 45 minutes at 180 degrees. It's the easiest thing in the world. The batter, we know the batter was delicious. Hey? We haven't tried it yet. Charlie is desperate to try it, please. We made a syrup with half a cup of sugar, squeezed an orange, and just drenched it all over, and then um, grated some orange zest over it. I'm just going to hold this up to the camera so you can see. I know it's going to flip it, guys, but you can see one thing of yogurt, two of sugar, three self-raising flour, Three eggs, pinch of salt, dash of vanilla, and do you want to show everyone what you made? Ta-da! The Bund Cake of Beauteousness. This was in for about 50 minutes. I think we could have done... Stop looking. We could have done with it at about 45 minutes. It's a little bit brown. Charlie, you know what I want you to do, darling? And you dust it, dust it. It's this, it's such a simple cake and it is so impressive and so delicious and really go wild with that sugar syrup with lemon or orange zest. It really does do some, oh, that nice work, Birdie. No, you've got plenty now, my babes. Okay, that's plenty. Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> the magician at work. Okie dokie. So here is our bunt cake of beauteousness, literally made with yogurt cups <laughs> as <laughs> hey <laughs> made with yogurt cups as the, as the measurement so just to recap what we did today this little monday morning uh, little early bird start for well it's not that early is it it's half past nine we made um a little cardboard embroidery craft really fun to do if you can get hold of a darning needle or you can use a knitting needle to punch those and use a lace and you know i'm six now <laughs> Charlie Bird is six now. We made a mask, an abstract mask, really nice for kids who are feeling the pressure of creating something that needs to look what it does in the head. And we're going to stick a chopstick to it. They can run around later. What are we doing later today? Can you remember? A treasure hunt. We're doing a and treasure we hunt. Ever, yeah, and at the end, we each find a toy and we don't even need to share it. <laughs> Luckily, I did stock up on a few things from Crazy Store and Take A Lot before lockdown, knowing it was going to be Charlie's birthday. So we'll have a treasure hunt outside in that crazy garden, windy mess today. And the other thing we made today was that bun cake. Guys, I really, really recommend this. It's so delicious mm -hmm. from having other ones before. But I can tell you that this is going to go down a treat today. Thanks for tuning in at GH Kids Connect. We'll see you again on Wednesday and we really appreciate all the comments and please guys send us your ideas and tell us what you've been up to. We'll see you again. Say goodbye, ready? Bye. <laughs> Wave at the camera. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>